Hi, my name is Chris Johns and I live in West Dundee, Illinois. I learned about my PALB2 mutation last year when I was 65 years old. I felt a lump on my breast. I went to my gynecologist who of course recommended a mammogram and an ultrasound. Uh, the results were inconclusive, although they didn't feel there was cancer. They suggested I come back for a screening in six months. I did receive a call the next day though from my gynecologist who said, I recommend that you have genetic testing. I have a family history. My mom and her identical twin both had breast cancer in their late 50s. And the same aunt died from pancreatic cancer when she was 67 years old. When I tried to schedule my screening MRI for my breasts, um, I was told that um, I did not meet medical necessity. Despite just having the mutation makes my risk at 50% or, or above, adding to that my family history and the fact that I have dense breasts, uh, that still did not meet the medical necessity criteria for Medicare. So I'm opted now to just have the screening that the general population, which is a 10% risk, would have, which is just an annual mammogram. Uh, knowing you have a high risk and yet not being able to do anything proactively to find cancer earlier while it is more curable is very unsettling to me. My name is Susan Cook and I live in Fairbanks, Alaska. In 2017, my youngest daughter, who was 34 at the time, was diagnosed with breast cancer. She was genetically tested and found to carry a BRCA2 mutation. My husband and I were both advised to be tested ourselves to see which of us was the carrier, and I was found to be positive. I was advised to have prophylactic surgery for removal of ovaries and fallopian tubes because there is no effective screening for ovarian cancer. Medicare did not cover uh, my genetic testing. They did not cover the bilateral salpingo oophorectomy that I had. Um, and they will not cover breast MRIs or really anything that is considered preventative uh, as far as BRCA2 mutation screening. Luckily, my family has been able to cover costs for screening in my surgery to remove ovaries and fallopian tubes, but that's certainly not the case for everyone. And it's heartbreaking to think there are people out there who cannot have these basic services covered under Medicare. My name is Carol Snyder and I live in Gig Harbor, Washington. So when I found out that I actually had the BRCA2 gene, I was told that my risk of having breast cancer in my lifetime was around 80%. My doctor recommended that I have a mammogram once a year and that I have a breast MRI once a year and that I seriously consider having a prophylactic bilateral mastectomy. I met with a breast oncologist at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. She sort of just off the cuff mentioned, oh, by the way, did you know that Medicare won't cover a prophylactic mastectomy? That changed everything. My hand was forced and I felt that I really had no choice but to go ahead and have the surgery while it was covered, this preventative surgery, even though I was neither physically nor emotionally really ready to have this surgery. Medicare will cover me if I I'm diagnosed with breast cancer and then they'll pay for my treatment and for the surgery and for the chemo and for everything that I need. But if I have an 80% chance of having breast cancer over my lifetime, they will not pay for the preventative measures necessary for me to avoid all those high costs. I'm Alexandra Ashbrook. I live in Washington, D.C., and I'm also speaking for my sister, Marina Yolanda Diego, who lives in Santa Cruz, California, 
I went to get my annual mammogram. I discovered I had breast cancer. I wanted to make sure I had all the information necessary to make informed treatments. So I decided to get genetic testing. Um, my aunt had died of breast cancer and another aunt had died of um, ovarian cancer. Unfortunately, the test revealed that I was BRCA2 positive. I called my sister to let her know that I thought she should get tested. My sister had to pay for her genetic testing out of pocket because Medicare does not cover the cost for testing for people who don't have cancer. After my sister tested positive for the BRCA2 mutation, she was advised that she would need annual MRIs in addition to annual mammograms. In May of 2019, my sister suffered a terrible stroke. She requires 24 seven round the clock care. The letter we received from Medicare stated that the MRI is not a covered service because it is a preventative exam. Um, as a result, my sister and her husband are paying off a substantial bill for a service that was medically necessary for her given her genetic predisposition to getting breast cancer. It really breaks my heart that my sister who's gone through so much is not getting the care she needs to prevent breast cancer.